everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another reaction of The Wire, y'all. This is season one, episode five. We have, we're not even at the halfway mark, but let's, it doesn't matter. Let's enjoy this amazing show. You wanna see this in a full reaction, the link will be down below. Please hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into The Wire and find out exactly what this show has got to give. Fat match game. Call us now. Who's that? I hung up without seeing. They hung up without seeing. What you care? You never used a damn phone in here, no how. I need you to get them phone lines about the house. Shots ain't gonna say about not having a line in our own place. Right. Seems like we just going past careful, man, with all of this, man. Like we bugging out or something. Nah, I don't want to use his phone. We used his phone yesterday. Shh. Like I ain't, got, ain't nobody out to get me, man. Don't got no motherfucking enemies. Nah, man. A little slow, a little late. <laughs> Alright, man. Y'all gonna be here, right? Right. Yo, boo. I'm gonna slide up through here. You see that, boo? Yo, my reach short, man. Yo, how short? Three. Tell them to throw a couple at you. That'd be the trap right there, homes. Man, you figure they roll through the alley for sure. That's always when the hoes in time of danger. Hey, you him, ain't you? I'm just a nigga with a plan at all. <laughs> but a <the> shotgun. <laughs> what a message they're sending. Yeah, and that message is... Out of sight, out of mind. You laid and right, you can build on it. You laid and wrong. Everything on top falls. Solemnly swear and affirm that the affidavit is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Same frequency as the one carried by uh, D'Angelo Barksdale. He gets a page, we get a page. It's official. You're up. Then let the up. game begin. Celebrities always seem much smaller when you meet them in person. I heard that before. Oh, this is a kid. Something ain't right, yo. Yo, so come on, yo. Omar coming, man. Oh, shit. She stands alone. Good, out of Ben Oh, they scared yeah. the hell. We ain't cool if you want. Like, but don't nobody like sucking on a rubber. How would you know? Fuck that. I wouldn't run up in that bitch with D'Angelo's dick. Easy to see why niggas come around here stealing our shit. What? You get it. Oh damn, he's calling. One four two isn't a working telephone exchange. Six intercepts so far and five in the working numbers. Something wrong with the recorder? We're getting what you'd expect. Seven digits of a yeah. telephone number and a two-digit add-on to identify the caller, like here, 13. McNulty, line one. Nice. McNulty. Yeah. You just got a one to exchange. Yeah, that's what we got, too. It's fucked up. All right, later. What's that mean? He's got the same numbers on the readout of the clone pager, so it's not the recorder. Well, they've coded the telephone numbers in their pager messages. How you know? The payphones in the low-rise court. We get the telephone number, the time, and the duration of the call. Very cool. <laughs> Thanks, we're cops. You say they're using some kind of code? Omar's ride, bubble spotted it. Different tags, no stolen report. We pop Omar, get a gun, he might let us work him. Anything coming through on the pager? Most of them in some kind of code. Three weeks to get Daniels to agree, a week to write out the affidavit, and then this bullshit. But then again, what does it say about us if we can't break it? <laughs> well, I miss girlfriend. Not a goddamn thing. Oh, I'm just how y'all do what y'all do every day and not want to get high. I mean, I'd be asking. <laughs> String man, I can't lie. Them stick up boys, they caught us dead up. Bobo, Bobo, coming up! Bobo, coming up, y'all! You 
cool to understand that it's the stick-up crews and the creepers that be giving us the most trouble. Uncle, I mean, we, we think you got a snitch up in the shop. What? You gotta be on that. I'm gonna tell you what you do. What day is it today? Don't call him like you gonna pay him, and then you crack him. When you not happy, they ain't getting paid. Dream man, you don't pay a nigga, he ain't gonna work for you. But you think a nigga's gonna get a job when that money run out? I come up to you and roll on you and ask you for, for an advance and the niggas that you struck off your list. But that nigga that stay eating, that's the nigga I want to hear about. Understand? You know how to play a nigga into a corner string. Yo, <laughs> take care of this right here. What's happening? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You know the fucking rules? So straight is like district when district comes through. <laughs> or your boss for those that don't like district. What the fuck are you doing? Copying. There's fucking detail. Ah ha ha ha. Not gonna lie, to I want some rice. That's where the boys at. A guy like Omar working for me. A guy named Ruben Terry. Schools out. Yeah, I got that. What do you mean you don't know? For Christ's sakes, Elena, I'm their father. You think I'd let him sleep on the floor? Color? What the fuck do you care what color they are? Hello? My ex-wife, the way she acts sometimes, the way she deals with shit, charms and value of women. A man like that, not me, but a man like that, he just might call her a cunt. You just called the mother of your children a cunt. No, I did not call her that. Yes, you fucking did. No, I did not. Oh, because we got out of jail. Yeah, I'm fighting this time. You get a tired asshole? You think about Kima, she put a hurting on you like a man. You don't want your business card back, right? Come on. Mary came from nowhere in Dublin town. Where well, I got up to the town. Go in, play nice. Then you come in, play bad. I ain't gonna be playing. Damn, this is small. Bracelet too tight. First, you put a cop in the hospital. Damn near kill his ass with that punch. Man, I'm 16, all right? What the fuck they gonna do to me? You banged? It's Herc's uncle. Uh -huh. Herc went off the leash on this one. And, um, I suppose you at the other end of that leash, huh? I know about coming up hard and all. But you came up hard? Flag House Projects. You know, you, you remind me of me. I'm thinking you should work something out. What you want? I want you to suck my dick. Yeah, you play with the fuck all day. Hey, no. To be the good cop, dumb motherfucker. What? Oh, oh man, help you. Help you. Yeah, like a table. Any you have reservations? I thought, you know, we could just walk in and uh, let's see what I can. Is this like a mostly white place and they're too black? Uh, can we get that one over there? Ah, uh, it's Friday night. Those are for patrons who made reservations. You should have pushed him, D. Making a bet is the worst. I always hire somebody. <laughs> He's not gonna figure it out. Oh, bastards. <laughs> Sarge, nobody answers a juvenile intake, and we've been calling. Well, so what time does the duty intake consultant get here? You missed the 8 o'clock. Think maybe we left you the paperwork. You could put him in the box till intake gets here. Black people here. Never mind. Look at her. She buys hair. Thank you, Yeah. Do they know what? You know. Look what I'm about. Get all dressed up, right? Come all the way across town. Go down to the harbor. Walk around a little bit, you know? Acting like we belong down here. You know what I'm saying? D, we ain't the only black people in here. I'm just saying, you know? I feel like some shit just stay with you. How did you try? Still can't go nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Can I interest you in dessert? Nobody give a damn about you and your story. You got money, you get to be whatever you say you are. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. These are the samples. Samples? But she might be all that when it comes to thumping on niggas, but you can't do shit with that stick. I'm even better with two hands. Oh. What about TT Crew? Nah, uh, nah, them niggas dried up when they took that federal charge. You holler at the boy Scar. Let him know, man, it's time for him to take a stroll. Once we got him out of there, we'll send in the smokers. They can run out all the little poop butt locals and shit. Stink him up here. He wants to sort of shot. 
so he gets a shot. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Can't let your duty officer see that. You the guys waiting for juvenile intake? He's in the squad room. Oh. You gonna run a hustle? Best stay with what you know. We'll move our little thing down to Emerson Avenue. Take the gully. I'm giving you points on the package. So you make a go of it. You hear me? You're gonna put out the strong product. You're gonna get the locals behind it. You got we, it. Oh, you think it's Omar? Nah, 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 nah. It's one of the youngins. Which case? When you just brought me, Bunk. Uh, casing of that girl shot up in Northeast. Motherfucker named Liggett. It's, it's there in the report. Toreen Boyd, Roland Leggett. Yeah, them. As sergeants go, Jay's a sociopath and all, but I'd have to go with an actual gangster. That's that guy. Hey, Jimmy. You sitting down? I said it was hot. It comes in a bag, goes out in a bag. How long you had that for? It's like first I got beat, right? And and I get this. Yeah, what are these for, huh? He says I got the bug. Bug? They checked me when I was in the hospital. Are they sure? The hoppers that beat you down, they got problems now. Yeah, there are many people that sling for you even. Put the police on their ass. <laughs> not working for them. I'm working with them. They don't give me the bad soon enough, I keep doing like I do. Fuck you in here, man, with all these falling out motherfuckers. Why are you passing shit through a bag? It's all part of the game, right? I mean, you taught me that. Doing the meetings. N.A.? <laughs> yeah. It's good, it, uh, it's good, Johnny. It gets the body comfort, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'll be getting out of here at the end of the month. It's all right, man. You know, they, got, they got meetings everywhere. Who's got the best package now? Fuck, I'm coming home, right? There's some boys up in uh, Baker and Calhoun, though. They, they had a smoke out the other day, though. Ain't you a trip? Feet down, bagged up, still ready to rip and run, huh? I'm a Viking, Holmes. Viking homes. There's something here that needs kissing. Keely be Keely. We all can't be princes of the city now, can we? Asking you to identify for the record your commanding officer. Major Rawls. Excellent. Immediately into the Major's office, carrying the break I've given you in the Crescent case, and kiss the man's ring. You wrap up this thing with narcotics in two weeks. You do that, and you're back in the fold. I'm gonna say something to him, all right? What you should. Chip, chip. 530, the count is right, man. Good. You know, me and Pooh, we be steady working and you know, nothing sloppy, no troubles, right? Maybe you could let a little something go till payday, because you know right now, we some broke-ass niggas. What? Whoever did our girl also did Boyd and Leggett a month earlier. Leggett. You know, the girl who called in on Crescent. All right, she put DM for that. Have you seen this? Hey, Jay Bird! And the bear said, you didn't really come here to hunt now, did you? Well, Morden got in the west side. John Bailey in a Kevlar vest, lit up by three separate shooters. Bailey, my time with the Barksdale crew? Morgan's on the other shift. I'm trying to work my murder. Might have heard we get a few murders here in Baltimore. Sometimes we just get backed up. You weren't followed here. Deja was playing with scary people. Who might that be? You uh, called this in after the murder, and you told the detective that you talked to her the night she was killed? She had to go. D was at the door. And that was the last time you spoke with her? D would be D'Angelo Barksdale. And the boyfriend, Avon Barksdale? You know Avon. We used to go to Odell's for ladies' nights. And one time he was there, acting like he was king of everything. And Deidre ate that shit up. She was with Avon for like a year. And something happened. Started bitching on him one minute, crying to him next minute, threatening to do all kinds of things. One time, she threatened to write a letter on him. She said that if he dumped her, she was gonna tell about the drugs. I tried talking to her about the way she was acting, but she wouldn't let it go. One has a club. Orlando's titty bar. You still got me working on salary. Damn, boy. You ain't the only one y'all can keep close. And a little something on this by now. No, nah, man. I'm just the front. Is there a problem? That was for the drink before. When the fresh territory take over the corners down there, Edmondson and Bryce. My uncle gave that to stink. Orlando! You figured you knew. Look, she took 20, then 20 more. I've been sitting here with you for an hour and a half buying drinks. Look, come on, man, this ain't right. Go, I JJ, get the fuck out of here. Look, I don't know you're going to touch me. Okay, let's go.
Did you take his money? No, I didn't take his money. You buy me a drink? Can I see you sometime? I don't usually see men that I that I meet in here. Usually. The okay. strip joint has a video camera looking out. Got the warehouse, he's got the apartment building by Druid Hill Lake. He's got the tow truck company. And like a few property forfeitures to swell departmental operation budget. John Bailey's a stick-up artist I used to know from the Murphy homes. All right, if he was running with Omar. Look it, a buddy. Just what's that? Wish they use a right number. It ain't like him to be late. They fucking dope fiend. Tell you. you always gotta talk like that, man. Boy. F this and F that. Well, nobody wanna hear them dirty words, man. Especially coming from such a beautiful mouth. Oh, 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 oh. Really bird catch the worm, dog. I beeped you. I didn't get it. I beeped you too. You all right, Prince? Seven one four three four three two. Yeah, I tried it twice. Now I'm working number. I like word search puzzles. You know where you gotta find the hidden word. I could do the same thing with the numbers. Oh. Jump the one over the five. You get nine. Zero switches with the five. So seven one four seven six seven eight. What? Our number. If it was a code that involved math, these little yos in the projects wouldn't be able to follow. This all you gotta do is jump. The five button. <laughs> Ain't no math to it, it's just. <laughs> Jesus! I could kill you, that's so good. <laughs> Mother keep ragging at me to take him out of here and put him in a private nursing home. Telling him, man, hey, we can't show this legit money yet, man. Especially since he ain't got no insurance. I'll tell you something, man, you about to see your uncle. You understand me? This family. Family gonna always be there because it's blood. You never figured on this, did you? Live the life, lead the life. Ain't no big thing. He used to talk that shit all the time and he believed it. What's up, baby? Talk that shit now. It's kind of hard to be in here right now. He scare you, don't he? Man, you know I'm just saying. He scares me. See, if he did, you know, I could carry it better. Coming up to what we did, you know, you kind of expect that. The thing is, you only got to fuck up once. Be a little slow, be a little late. Just once. And how you ain't gonna never be slow? You can't plan for no shit like this, man. It's life. It scares me. They're still using it. I was bound Saturday night and it was gone. You still getting your boys? Yeah. Tonight for a sleepover. What the hell? Call for backup? Not yet. This is so obvious. <laughs> Invitation. I feel a little lonesome for backup. Yeah, me too. Afternoon, gentlemen. Saying if he's going to use that, you'd have been done using it by now. Man, we have one of our little parlays like this. Got to keep it playing, right? Omar with no gun on the street? But being as y'all sitting on my ride so long, I just thought I'd save y'all some time. Come straight on out. We're not here to bury you, Omar. We're pulling you out because we've got a problem in common. Avon's been chalking up a lot of bodies, you being you. I just can't really come out and help y'all. You know what I mean? Snitching? Personally, I don't think the game is played like that. Well, we respect that. You know, I used to work the homes back when your brother was up there. Let them know they blew up John Bailey last night. Man, you trying to catch up with Bird? Word is he dropped a working man. A working man, what bird? Come on, now I ain't but one working man, now is there. I think your snitch can handle that. Shit, Bubbles no bird. Woo! Oh my God, Bubbles! <laughs> Don't you be banging on my door. Working late? Hello. You got a minute? I've been 13 years on the shelf. I ain't bitched. It was me that put me there. We should have had a tap and the project pay phones by now. You're serious about climbing that career ladder. And I know how slippery it gets the higher you go. I don't want to go to no dance unless I can rub some tit. Good night, Lieutenant. Oh. I told him to give it up or I'm taking out of the account. I'll punk niggas when I got you. It's you're up. Yo, that's one of the ones to rob the still ice skin boy. I'm the king of this shit. Hey, 
and nobody's around. Ooh, that boy's gonna die. So you want us to wait? Yeah. Alright, we on one. Now my man D got himself an emergency. Who he get stuck up again? <laughs> my people on the one Omar's boys down the Greeks. Oh, you should tell you I'm gonna take care of it. All right. Ain't nobody coming. Yo, D said wait. <laughs> Told you. Yo, he still in there? Yeah, he in there playing the games. You gonna point him out to us, all right? Yeah. Yo, it's done. Nice work, guys. Oh, they killed him? What a good episode, y'all. Now that I watched it last week and I can remember what happened last week and not splitting it up with like weeks in advance, I mean weeks separated, I, it, it was easier for me to follow. The names, trying to get all the names together, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, was kind of hard, but listen, one, one episode at a time. One episode at a time. So Birdman, or not Birdman, but Bird was Omar's, the dark skin uh, helper, drug helper person. Then this light skin guy who might be dead as well was Omar's man, main man. Um, and now he's gone. So that's gonna leave Omar in a little of a pickle, if that's the correct terminology. So I don't know if he's gonna work with the police to get back at, um, Avalon or whatever his name is, Barksley. There's so many names. Um, but I'm really interested in that. I, listen, I bit my tongue at work again. Li I keep biting my tongue. I don't know what's going on. So now it's starting to hurt. So I really can't talk long in this outro. But I was really expecting to just give you guys a one to the two to the two to the three type of outro that was exciting. But now I'm in pain, so I can't do it. Um, but regardless, as I kick the camera. Um, I liked all the moving parts. I think Omar is extremely, um, not only is he dangerous, he's very smart, but so's um, the main guy who's in control of all of what's going on on the other side. He's actually very smart and he's ambitious as well. And now Omar and him having this like rivalry, kind of. Like Omar went and did what he did, and now he, the other guy's trying to get back at Omar. I don't really feel, feel like it's a rivalry yet. I feel like he's just getting his payback. Um, and now he's gonna work his way to Omar. And I wonder what's going to happen there because everybody seems like they're terrified of Omar. I mean, he came through a whistle and Dixie and everybody cleared the street, honey. So it's gonna be really interesting to see who's more scared, like who are people more scared of, Omar or that other guy? And what's gonna happen with all these other moving parts? I feel like a lot of people are gonna about to get murdered. I'm not really sure like, like what's gonna happen, but I feel like all the people we keep seeing in every single episode since episode one, I feel like very soon, it's all gonna go to shit. I, they're building it up and everybody's about to be knocked out, especially if they kill Omar's main piece. Then we had, um, I love seeing Stringer because we know we love that actor. He is gorgeous. He comes in, he does his one to do. What was the guy's name in the back of one, in the, the last scene with the bald head? Wasn't he a rapper too? I thought his name was Shine, but that's not Shine. Um, I forgot what his name was. I think he was a rapper, but I know he was in a lot of movies that I used to watch when I was in, the, in like in the nineties. Um, was he in Save the Last Dance? That guy? I think he was. Um, regardless, I used to have a big crush on him. Now, then we have the the other main guy who brought the girl on the date. Listen. Forget, forgive me in all the names, but he's also interesting character. But I feel like we're being, we're building him up. I don't think he's gonna make it out of season one. I think they're showing us signs that he's not gonna make it. Either he's gonna be in jail by the ending of this, or he's going to die. He's gonna get killed. And in this episode, I believe no. Well, the title of this episode is called "The Pager," but they had these little quotes in the beginning: "A little slow, a little late." And that's by Avon. So Avon is the person I keep wanting to speak about, the main character, a Avon versus Omar. Now, a little slow, a little late. 
I feel like it's going to pertain to Avon's nephew. I feel like he's, you know, he's, oh, family, family. Either Avon's gonna kill him or he's gonna be in jail by the end of this. The slip ups with the 45 and now the cops are, are tying him to the other murders. Um, him still being a side player. Um, I, I feel like, I feel like it's gonna come to a head. My person, or Omar is gonna kill him. Omar's gonna kill one of them and it's Avon's gonna lose his ever living shit. And I don't know how long Stringer is in the show. It's in the show until the very end, like of the all, all the seasons. But, which I hope. But I, or maybe Avon's gonna die and then Stringer will be in charge. Ooh, how about that? I don't know, y'all. I'm excited though. I would give this episode an 8.5. I don't know why I get these points. It was very, very entertaining. And although I wasn't really with the, all the names, and by the way, the two cops, the black cop and the white cop, I don't know their name either. I, They didn't bother me this episode. I feel like they're slowly growing on me and they're corrupted ways, but they didn't bother me this episode. But anyways, um, I'm looking forward to more. I would give it an 8.5 or an, or an 8. I wouldn't give it a nine, but an 8.5 or eight, whichever one. Um, but it's it's starting to build up and I'm very, very excited to be there. So thank you guys so much for being here. Please check out all my other reactions. And until next time, I'm off this.